dear students i hope you all will be fine i'm here muhammad jamal khan lecturer in botany university of education lahore today we will discuss top uh, we will discuss a topic from one of the core subject of botany that is plant systematic anatomy and development the course code of this subject is BOTN triple one two. So here we have a topic that is family Lamiaceae. So first of all, we discuss the taxonomic uh, description of Lamiaceae. So here we have this is the kingdom that is Plantae, and then we have the sub kingdom that is uh, Tracheobionta. then uh, this family belongs to a division uh, Magnoliophyta and the class is Magnoliophyta then we have a subclass that is Asteroidae and the order is Lamiaceae. and as you know the family is Lamiaceae. Uh, so in this uh, Lamiaceae family Majorly plants are herbs means they are annual green small size plants or they may be shrub that uh, may be the wooden green plant whose main stem cannot be distinguished from its branches. In addition to this, these herbs or shrubs produce aroma or fragrance due to presence of various phenolic uh, compounds that are the source for the production of aroma in this family Lamiaceae. So one we can discuss about the root system of this family. It majorly exhibits a tap root system the root that directly arise from the seed so in addition to this this tap root may be a primary tap root or maybe a secondary type root in case the first root which is formed by the elongation of radical is called primary tap root it gives rise to secondary and further division produce tertiary roots. In minor cases it exhibit another type of root that is adventitious root as in case of mantha. In this case the root arise from the stem or sometimes leaves so they are called as adventitious root. These roots arise uh, from some part of the stem which is contact with the soil. The next most uh, prominent vegetative uh, part of this family that we will discuss now is stem. In this family, the stem that grows above the ground in the exposed air is referred as aerial stem. In addition to this, this stem may be soft and green stem that can le that can be easily bent that is uh, herbaceous and if it uh, cannot be easily bent then it referred be as hard woody stem the stem is maybe straight or erect in this case stem is thick and strong and it grows only in upward direction and the such uh, stem is majorly present in trees while it uh, may be a prostrate and moves along the surface of the soil or earth the stem of uh, this family 
exhibit alternate uh, ridges and furrows and they may be in four number and it possess hair like structure so the stem having hair on its surfaces is called hairy it produce branches in addition to this this stem are are solid that means the stem is not hollow at internodes and in other cases it may be hollow it means at internodes these stems are hollow here we have the pictorial view of oral hollow stem in addition to this the stem of this family possess underground suckers actually sucker is an underground runner or shoot or shoots that arises from an axillary bud develop on the underground stem so it grows upward and give rise to aerial branches and it give off adventitious roots into the soil and in this way a new plant may be formed
the arrangement of leave uh, in this uh, APAC family or phylotaxy of uh, the of this family is opposite decussate it means uh, that leaves arrange along the stem in pairs each pair at right angles to the pair next above or below so here we have a opposite decussate phylotaxy these are the pairs of leaf this one and this pair of leaf is at right angle to this and then this one is at right angle to this and this one at right angle to this so simply it is the successive pairs of uh, leaf that be placed at right, right angle to one another and the arrangement is termed as opposite decussate as you observe in this uh, figure or image uh, a pair of uh, leaves at one node lie at right angle to the next pair of leaves at the next node so this family possess opposite decussate phylotaxy So a group of flower, as you know, is graphed as inflorescence. So this family also possesses inflorescence, and inflorescence is in the form of verticillaster. So verticillaster, in this case, the bract bracts is uh, in the floral region are opposite, and each bract has a cluster of sessile flower in its axis. So the two clusters at the node form word-like arrangement called verticillaster. So verticillaster basically consisting of a pair of condensed cymes at each node and often the verticillasters are grouped together in a thyrus form. So this is a special uh, type of inflorescence that is exhibit by this family. So here we have the diagnostic account of the flower of this family the flower of this family possess a pedicel due to which it is called as pedicellate and some flower does not contain pedicel due to which they are called as sessile at the base of this pedicel a bracts or leaf like structure is present due to which flower is called bracteate both calyx and corolla are present due to which flower is complete the flower does not divide into into more than two planes from any division or Flower can be cut into two equal halves by only single plane or one plane. And such type of symmetry of flower is referred as zygomorphy. But in very rare cases, the symmetry may be actinomorphic. That means the flower can be cut into two equal halves by more than one plane. Both male reproductive part of flower and the female reproductive part of the flower are present both parts are present on a, within the same flower so such type of flowers are often called as bisexual flower or perfect flower so this is the feature of these family flowers in addition to this few members of this family exhibit unisexual flower in which both male and female reproductive part are present on different flowers the ovary in this family is 
superior as the case is hypogynous and furthermore the flower of this family are pentamerous it means the flower which have each floral word consists of five members which are divided into five parts and also arranged in sets as five sepals five petals five or uh, twice five stamens and five pistils now here we have the first whorl of flower that is calyx that contains sepals and the number of sepals in this family is five these sepals are united due to this feature these are called as gamosepals by the union of these sepals it form a specific feature of this family that is bilabiate it means it convert itself into a feature that look like forming two lips further the calyx showed a bell shape structure that is called as campanulate in campanulate the calyx and corolla of certain flowers are characterized by a broad tube that convert itself into a bell shaped structure flower are persistent it means the sepal remain in place even after the fruit is formed and the arrangement of sepals and petal with respect to one and other in bud is volvate or imbricate actually this arrangement is referred as aestivation so aestivation may be a volvate or may be a imbricate if sepals and petals merely touch each other at their edges then this aestivation is called as volvate aestivation and if the margins of sepals and petals overlap each other such aestivation is called as imbricate aestivation in addition to this i further added here regarding the bilabiate calyx when the calyx is bilabiate the arrangement of sepals may be 1 by 4 or it may be 2 by 3 Here we have the second whorl of flower that is corolla it contains petals so the number of petals are 5 and these petals are united together and the five teeth are sub equal and it forms a specific shape that reflect itself into a two lips that is referred as bilabiate in this family a four lobed corolla arises due to the fusion of two upper teeth due to this a distinctable bilabiate structure is produced and this condition is found the arrangement of petals may be 2 by 3 and these petals are united together as the case may be in gamopetalus so the two petals in the posterior posterior upper lip and three in the anterior upper lip anterior lower lip sorry has indicated here these are the posterior two lips that fuse together
and these are the three anterior blades one this one is two and this one is three so it forms a bilabiate structure now the third well of lava is androsium that contains stamens so the number of stamens in this family are four and they are arranged itself into a dynamic feature in this case two stamens are short and two are long and these all are present in a single word in a salvia only two stamens on the anterior side are found and they are characterized by peculiarly long connectives which help in insect pollination stamens these stamens are two lobe structure and they are present at the anterior end so here we have the fourth whorl of flower that is gynoecium gynoecium majorly contains carpels so in this family the number of carpels are two due to this the gynoecium is bicarpellary and these carpel are fused together uh, so these carpel or gynoecium are referred as syncarpus in this family the ovary is superior as the case is hypogynous in addition to this it also includes a honey secreting disc in carpel there is a two chambers that is called as bilocular and in some cases due to the formation of false septum these bilocular chamber or bilocular uh, convert itself into a tetralocular or tetra chamber structure the placentation in uh, this family is exile in this case the gynoecium is polycarpellary or multicarpellary and these carpel are fused together as the case is syncarpus so the fused margins of the carpel grow inward in the center of the ovary thus the compound ovary becomes multilocular so the marginal placenta uh, placenta of all the carpel fuse in the center to form a exile placentation so all ovules are attached on this central axis further the style of uh, the flower is gynobasic this means this style is arising from the base of the ovary and the stigma that is present at the tip of the style is bilobed structure so here we have the fruit of this family the majorly the fruit of this family is uh, schizocarpic it means that uh, uh, the dry and many seeded fruit uh, which break into a number of one seeded parts on ripening uh, and in some cases the fruit is in uh, the form of achenes so the achenal fruit in which the pericarp is membranous or leathery and uh, free from coat or testa and in very uh, rare cases the fruit is uh, dropicious it means uh, the mesocarp forms the edible portion of the fruit and endocarp form a hard shell or stone though so the seed of this family is uh, unknown and as uh, you shown in this slide so here we have the floral formula and the floral diagram of this family lamy ac so first of all here we have the formula this indicates that the morphology of uh, a symmetry of this flower is zygomorphic this sign indicates then this k indicates uh, the number of calyx the number of calyx is 5 and they are uh, fused together or united together the and this union is indicated by a bracket along the side of uh, figure 5 then this whole scene, uh, figure 8 uh, 
reveals that the calyx number of five and the androsium is number of four and this androsium is uh, in the form of dadenomus so the calyx that are fused together this number is five <coughs> and calyx and androsium are united or joined together here this this one indicated by this 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 or here so after that the gynoecium the number of gynoecium or it uh, the ovary is bicarpillary so and the, the ovary fused together in the form of syncarpus so the number is 2 Break indicate the fusion or union of these uh, carpels and this underline black line indicate the ovary is superior now here we have the floral formula this one indicate the mother axis or main axis main axis then we have the sepals or calyx these are the sepals they are fused together from this point or after we have the petals these are the petals these are the petals these are the petals and petals are fused with the androsium or stamens these are the stamens and the number of stamens are four or they are arranged in the form of uh, dedromus <coughs> after that we have a uh, gynoecium or ovary here in the center we have the gynoecium and ovary and uh, it uh, consists of uh, two carpels bicarpillary but in some cases uh, the bicarpillary convert itself into a tetra uh, locular or tetra chamber structure by the formation of false septum so this is all about for this so here we have the economic importance of this family uh, most of the member of this uh, family used as a food for example mint is used as a salad and the tubers of uh, stitches are edible also in addition to this some of the men, uh, members like mentpa and osimum uh, that is called as neasbo are used as condiments some members like uh, osimum canum gives a miscellaneous seeds these are used in the beverages as tuk malanga in addition to this this family also have a medicinal importance many plants of this family are used in medicines like ajuga brachiosa that are used in fever mantha papereta and thymus give menthol and thymol respectively which are extensively used in medicines leaves of osimum clemendus cherium give camphor in addition to this many plants contains abundant volatile aromatic oils like thymol lavender oil and rosemary oil these are all belong to this family so the the members of this family used for the production of perfumes some species of this family like salvia are cultivated for their beautiful flowers so this family members are also used for ornamental purposes and few members are used for the production of dye So here we have the references uh, that uh, help us in the preparation of this uh, lecture. I hope uh, you got a very uh, informative uh, knowledge regarding uh, this family. Thank you.